Our next caller is Graydon from Alberta, Canada. Hey, Graydon, how can we help you? Hey, guys. Um, first off, just want to say absolutely love you guys. Found your show just a little over two years ago, and it's absolutely helped my training a ton. So um, just wanted to ask, um, I played basketball and football like my whole life growing up, and my off-season training was always centered around like bodybuilding-type movements. Um, but I've wanted to start a – uh, powerlifting um, program, and I'm wondering what are the benefits and detriments of incorporating bodybuilding movements into a powerlifting program. Oh, okay, mm. great, great question. You know, of all the strength uh, sports, I would say bodybuilding and powerlifting have uh, probably the most to learn from each other. There's a lot of value that powerlifters can get from doing certain bodybuilding movements or even focusing on hypertrophy. And there's a lot of value that bodybuilders can get from, from you know, learn that they'll learn from powerlifters. So here's the stuff that I would avoid for powerlifting. I would avoid lots of the isolation movements uh, or, or overemphasis on lots of isolation movements. Um, you know, lots of side laterals and, you know, kickbacks and those kind of exercises. There's a little bit of value for powerlifting in that, especially if there's a, an imbalance, but not a ton. Now, the value you get from bodybuilding for powerlifting really mainly revolves around the type of volume, the changing the angles, and a little bit of hypertrophy. If you get a powerlifter and you get them to add a little bit of muscle or size, they're, they're, all of a sudden their stability goes up and they feel like they're more in control of the bar. So you could do higher reps, uh, cycles of higher reps, uh, unilateral training. So Powerlifters do a lot of bilateral type training, but if they went through a cycle where they did, you know, lunges, for example, uh, front squats, um, single leg type exercises, when they go back to their powerlifting, they typically notice better stability in their lifts. They feel more stable um, in their in their heavy lifts. So those are the things I'd look at uh, because bodybuilding is really good for just for size and for balancing the body out a little bit more so than powerlifting. I would say. So there's. One major detriment that Sal didn't address that I think you should definitely know uh, that both bodybuilding and powerlifting do a disservice to athletics is mm -hmm. that you, a lot of the training is like in the sagittal plane. Like everything is. Well, I'm surprised you. Uh, I was going to comment that you had bodybuilding as the uh, the go to training program for those sports. Yeah, so that that's the the real bummer about both those. I mean, sports is so much rotational strength, right? There's so much in that. You, if you get really, really strong uh, in in one plane, uh, it does really hinder that, and and that's a lot of times where like injury happens. I, I know where my injury happened uh, playing basketball. I was because I train like this. I train mostly in the the you know power lifting, bodybuilding type of world or modality. And then I still like to go pick up a basketball every once in a while. And it just, I mean, that's where I hurt myself. Yeah, Graydon, is your question to get better at uh, basketball or is your question to get better at powerlifting? Better, better at powerlifting. Like I really want to make some like major strength. Games yeah, but it's, he's also off seat. He's also, you, do you still play sports? No, no, this is just, oh, I said yeah. that was growing up. I played a lot of sports and that's ah, I got it. Oh. all I really knew about training was like watching Steve Cook videos got and it. training on yeah. my own. Got it. Yeah. Got Okay. I misunderstood. So I was under the impression this is just off season because there's a lot of value yeah. in, in bodybuilding and powerlifting style workouts in an off season to any sport, as long mm. as you just keep in mind all the stuff that I was talking about. But Okay, so if you're not even worried, so but that's the thing you got to be careful of, though. I just want to let you know that, like, if you start to move in this powerlifting, bodybuilding world, and if I don't know if you still get the itch to go play ball every now and then, like I do, uh, I be, still do yeah. yeah, so be careful because you get really strong in one direction. You ask the body to rotate left or right or turn in a sharp direction or, you know, slow down real quick and go the other way. And it's just you haven't been training that way, but yet your muscles are really strong from bodybuilding and powerlifting. And that's a lot of time where the injuries occur. Well, just one thing I've noticed from bodybuilders that convert over to powerlifting, uh, especially with the deadlift, is just like technique wise, like a lot of like trying to really pull and, and you know, having their elbows just slightly bent to, to really like muscle up uh, the weight versus training their body to, you know, really master the technique of it and really apply, you know, the, the force uh, and get their, their body to 
to go through the, the proper mechanics of it. Uh, so, you know, spend some time not really like stacking the plates right away, but really like honing in on the, the, the technique of, of these main lifts. Yeah, I would go, I would go powerlifting uh, 80% or maybe 90% of the time, 10 to 20% bodybuilding. And you're going to get carryover. You'll get some good carryover. You know, for example, powerlifters nowadays, this was never the case before, but nowadays you see powerlifters doing bicep curls. I mean, they used to, they used to say, they used to make fun of doing curls, but then people were tearing their biceps. And so now you see more of them doing bicep curls here and there to prevent that from happening. So, um, and same thing with tricep, uh, you know, exercise, you see them doing more press downs and cable exercises. So, you know, if it's 80 to 90% powerlifting, 10 to 20% bodybuilding, you'll get great carryover for your powerlifting. Well, great. Are you following? Do you have any mass programs? Uh, no, I want to start Maps Power. Oh, yeah, but I was one. I guess is it? Are you saying that it's better to like in a powerlifting program to do your powerlifting program and then incorporate a week or two of bodybuilding Dude, or follow, do bodybuilding movements in your powerlifting fo program? Follow Maps Powerlift. I would just focus on powerlifting. Yeah, fo yes. follow Maps Powerlift. It's got everything you need. You'll and, be you'll be set. Yeah, and you're trust. I mean, a good example of how good you'll still look. Don't worry. I don't know if you follow our, our buddy Ben Pollock, but Ben Pollock is a bodybuilder powerlifter guy who goes back and forth between two. Who's also who helped write that program with us. Yeah. Well, that's black belt stuff. We got to master it first. Yeah, yeah. Just follow the Maps Powerlift program. We'll send we'll send that over to you, Graydon. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. I I totally uh, misunderstood. Yeah. It, I know. When you were answering, I was listening to you. I was like, uh... I was thinking the same thing. Well, when yeah. I read, I play... I, oh, it says I played, right? So, yeah. past tense. But you, I, I was assuming that, like, he said, and then he brings up off-season. I thought he was going to go... I think but, he was just telling us his history. But he did still say that he will go play. So, and this is, this is both my big injuries that yeah. I've had have been because the last, you know, decade plus I've been, you know, bodybuilder, powerlifter guy. You're asking your body to do something different. Mm. You're putting a big engine in a car without great handling, for example. That's right. Your and horsepower is going to increase. And so, yeah, yeah, if you're not, you know, maintaining the the quality and, and integrity of your joints, it's, you're going to feel it well, more. The irony is injuries always happen from lack of strength. It's just the lack of you know, specific strength, specific right? Strength. So you can get really strong in one area, but you're weak in others. And that means that you're going to your, and it, your risk of injury and it, it, the risk of injuries increases absolutely because you know like you said you're I would if I was uh, out of shape right as far as strength wise and I just laid off of playing basketball for let's say two years but wasn't lifting went back to playing basketball I would less likely be get injured yeah. but because I built all that horsepower up built all that muscle then went in there trying to do movements like that that's where you get well, in trouble now that I understand this question better it, it seems to me like a lot of what we answer to with people that really want to still incorporate their cardio they they don't want to lose Lose, you know this endurance but meanwhile they want to build their strength well he wants to get into powerlifting and really like indulge in that but doesn't want to lose the bodybuilding thing you know yeah. part yeah. of well, it yeah, he talk, talk about a, a, a modality though that really is going to you know play well into, oh yeah you know, and, oh. and his question really is is there a detriment it's like well no not unless that's the majority of your training i mean yeah. bodybuilding training is gonna not give for you, looks not no for it's going to give you more stamina and that'll help with your powerlifting because bodybuilding is more volume typically higher reps you're going to be better at hypertrophy, which is good. You'll do more of the unilateral type exercises, which right. I've, you know, I've noticed in myself, uh, backing off the bilateral stuff, doing the unilateral stuff, go back to the bilateral stuff, and then I'm able to surpass my previous best. But not, but but keeping like just taking the time to just focus on that, you know, is yeah. you're going to get the skill of it, and then you could get creative and interweave them together. But really, to just focus on that's going to be massive for him.